Ah, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Arya for keeping an eye on you. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Please. Shut it. Please. You have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. I hear we have a galaxy to save. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said shut it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's gonna happen to him? I'm gonna turn him in for the bounty. Don't much care what happens after that. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. I assume you've been briefed? I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elfell Ashland refinery on Zoya, and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done.
that's close enough. Stand still. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. Sounds like neither of us likes being jerked around. And on your ship, that would matter. Here, we entertain my preferences. So, what can I do for you? One scan and we're straight to business. People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. So you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink better yet talk to the entertainers they give great tours just don't waste my time tell me how you got set up here that's as privileged as information gets i have many friends and enemies i keep at varying distances i don't count you among either we'll see how useful you prove Short answer, mind your own damn business. I'm looking for Morden Solas. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Thanks for the information. Yes. Just try not to bring the plague back with you. you were dead. I'm Helena Blake. We met a few years ago. I don't expect you'd remember. You removed two criminal warlords from power and persuaded me to retire. I'll never forget it. And now you're on Omega. Once a criminal, always a criminal, eh? Oh, no, Commander. I retired. I know better than to go back on my word with you. You convinced me to turn my life around. I'm a social worker now, believe it or not. That seems like a hopeless job in a place like this. Quite the opposite, actually. This place needs it more than most. Doing the good work in a place like this requires that one understand how things truly work, which makes me uniquely qualified. That's more noble than I expected. Noble? No. It's just that someone came along a few years ago and made me see the error of my ways. You convinced me that I could use my contacts and skills for things other than smuggling and exploitation. I thank you for that. What brings you to Omega? What brings anyone to Omega? Opportunity, success, failure, all of the above? 
I find this place suits me. I can bring it a certain air of civility, I suppose. I have to go. Of course. You must have more important things to do. Say something, Commander. Hmm. How much did I drink? One drink. That's all it takes. Racist, Batarian bastard. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife? It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive it. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk. And an hour later, he was puking blood. I think I'll go give that bartender a taste of his own medicine. He won't be expecting you. That's for sure. Give that Batarian bastard what he deserves. Today. There seem to be a lot of Vorcha on Omega. No, not too many. You stay away. We kill you. I don't know a Captain Gavorn. Why would I tell him anything? <laughs> Go away. Talk too much. Gavorn's talks get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gavorn's tricks. We leave. This place. How can these people be left to rot like this? 
You don't understand or you don't want to. Does it really matter? No. Omega has worked this way for a very long time. No one's changing it now. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, you seem like a decent person. But you can't breathe a word of it to Harrod. Of course. Then we have a deal. Maybe I'll at least sell something to you. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. Why does Herrick control your prices? Herrick made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. I could go talk to Herrick for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, then maybe I'll get off this station after all. His shop's up the ramp, near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. cast off the lesser races, the Krogan, the Vorcher, and the Humans. And so they dwell in filth, on worlds made of dirt and feces. And there they lay until they stumble into the skies. The lesser races will be our downfall. The word is clear. Let none in my sight continue to live, lest their impurity displease me. The word is clear on this friend. Humans are the hands of the Reapers, here to commit the galaxy to ruin! You're crazy. Be gone! I cast you out into the cold black. I name you unclean. Bring unto me the children, that I may watch them grow, the soldiers for the cause. The way is clear, my friends. Draw your weapons for the word. Or face its terrible wrath! The end times will come, not with a bang, but with a sigh. Those who dip their extremities in the well of sin and vice must repent with fire, oil, and gun. Let not fleshy friendships and base urges compel us to sin and neglect. The word makes its demands, and it demands obedience! And on this great station, pure shall be rejected, and the lesser races given their places in heaven. And this shall be the beginning of the end. The end times are upon us. Repent and restore your souls to glory, man. You, are a blight on galactic purity. You, sir, you are a blight. And you, and you, human. And you. Protheans cast off the lesser races, the Krog, the Vorja, and the humans. And so they dwell in filth, on worlds made of dirt, feces. And there they lay until they stumble into the skies. The lesser races will be our downfall. The word is clear. Problem. 
tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. With pride, my prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. Tell me about your deal with the Quarian over there. Suspicious. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not be inclined to discuss it. Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. What if you and I make a deal? You let him set his own prices, and I won't break your legs. With barely contained terror, you drive a hard bargain, human. I haven't even started. Resignation. Very well. I will release the Quarian from his promise. Conciliatory. To show there is no ill will, I offer you a discount on my own wares. I have things to do. Courteously. Have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. I might have something here for humans. Not much. I'm in the mood to spend some money, but I think I can find better stuff elsewhere. You won't find a better selection anywhere. Unless you're willing to risk the black market. I'd rather deal with you than give money to those thieves. Are you sure we can't make a deal? Look, I can't compete with the black market. I have to make a profit. I'll do what I can. But don't tell anyone or I'll lose my shirt. you spoke to Harrod. Thank you so much. At this rate, I'll be off the station in no time. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way, but I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. Pointless human, there's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. You can't keep me out. I live in there. I'm doing you a favor, lady. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. You can't do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilope calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm 
doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. There's a Salarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, a crazy bastard opened the clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. I didn't think diseases could cross species barriers. Turians and Salarians can't even eat the same food. Right. Most people figure that it has to be synthetic. Somebody engineered it. And it either got loose, or they're testing it here. And seeing as how humans are immune to the plague and doing a fair bit of looting, a lot of people think humans made it. Tell me more about this plague. It starts out as a cough. Then you start coughing blood, and, well, then I shoot you. It affects multiple species, Turians, Salarians, Krogan, you name it. Only humans are immune, and Vorcha, if you count them. An airborne disease that takes down multiple races, can't let that spread, hence the quarantine. Who are the Blue Suns? Mercenary gang that runs the district, at least they used to. The guys are mostly Turian. I heard the plague hit them pretty hard. Now the whole district is up for grabs. I hear the Vorcha are making a move. The plague can't hurt them. Immune to disease. Just one more reason you don't want to go in there. Any idea where I can find Morden's clinic? Not a clue. What do you care? The place is quarantined, remember? Take a good long look at me. Do I look like a looter? Uh, no. That's right. Now I'm going in. If I find looters, I'll kill them. Anybody gets in my way, I'll kill them too. I'll call the guards. They'll let you in with no trouble. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. Don't shoot, they're cleared to come in. Good luck in there. The Blue Suns and Vorcha are shooting anything that moves. Control at its most basic. Pile the bodies in the street and burn them.
tried to claw his way out. Can't say I wouldn't do the same. Bastard sealed us in this room. Said we're infected. <laughs> Idiots can't tell the difference between the plague and a simple cough. Nothing to do now but sit tight and wait for them to wise up. Good thing we brought a deck of cards. Human. Should have guessed. <coughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <coughs> Humans didn't create this plague. Lies drip from your mouth like the blood from my source. The proof is there for all to see. <coughs> Your species is the only one that does not succumb to the virus. <coughs> Yours and the wretched Vorcha. Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <coughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. <coughs> Your faint pity is the final insult. I need to find Morden Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <coughs> I hope the Vorcha burn Morton and his clinic to the ground. <coughs> I hope you... <coughs> I hope... <coughs> Damn it. Damn you. Can't... <coughs> hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. <coughs> oh, you... You help me. Why? It's what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound... sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? You were talking about Borcha earlier. Before the quarantine, the Blue Suns controlled this district. But as their numbers fell to the plague, Vorcha moved in. The Blue Suns are fighting to protect their territory. But as the plague spreads, it's only a matter of time until the Vorcha overwhelm them. Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Vorcha are immune to disease. <coughs> A human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Besides, the Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. Scavengers. <laughs> Sorry, human. <coughs> you may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. I need to find Morden Solus. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. What makes Morden worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Suns tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. 
Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> when I find Morden, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short, but at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I don't want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morden is, I will risk it if he can reach me. I should go. Goodbye, you men. You're human. When we saw that door open, we thought those Turians had found us. Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. 
For Omega, at least. Then this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vortus started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control and the whole district turned into a war zone. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh, yeah. Him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now, trying to help plague victims, offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Suns heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them, too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morden's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Solarian might offer me sanctuary. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morden's clinic. I'm gonna be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorcha, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay. You're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there.
We've crossed into Vorture territory. The Blue Suns have given up a lot of turf. Just what I like to see. I say, we found this stuff, it's ours. Ah, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. Stealing from the dead, that's pretty low. What's the big deal? It's not like they're gonna miss anything. We're just showing a little entrepreneurial spirit. The plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? No more looting. Oh, what? You're gonna shoot us? I've killed people for less. Uh, I don't think she's kidding, man. Whoa, hold on a minute. Nobody needs to shoot nobody. We're stopping, okay? We just wanted to make a quick buck. It ain't worth getting killed over. We're done. Seriously, I swear. Do you know a Solarian named Morden Solace? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. It's crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. What do you know about the Vorcha? The Blue Suns used to keep them down. But with all the Suns getting sick, the Vorcha are making a push to take over the district. I eh, don't know who's gonna come out on top. We just want to stay the hell out of the way. The Blue Suns control this district, right? Well, they used to, before the plague wiped half of them out. Seems like it won't be long until the Vorcha finish them off. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry to see them go. The Blue Suns ran a tight ship, kept the district in line for the most part. What else can you tell me about the plague? I don't know. Started about a week ago, I think. Aliens started dying off left and right, and they quarantined the district. Figured we had to look out for ourselves. Started scoping out some apartments, taking what we could carry. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Guess we didn't really think it through. Tell me everything you know about Morden Solus. That guy is crazy. He'll patch up a gunshot wound for free, then kick your ass and throw you out when you try to grab a few painkillers. Be honest, man. You kind of had that coming. No way he's just a doctor. No doctor puts down a Blue Sun squad like that. All I know is if you go to his clinic, don't cause any trouble. We need to get going. Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while. Get some rest. Don't worry, you made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing. work no funny business once you're in the clinic unless you want to deal with those mechs the blue suns knew better than to mess with professor solace but the vorcha 
I'm not so sure about them. I hope we can hold out here until the quarantine ends. Our supplies are already getting low. No funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. Rearming. Morden's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Morden's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morden. Morden saved my life. I owe him everything. Morden says you humans aren't to blame for the plague. But why aren't your kind getting sick? Not all humans are bad. The volunteers here have been very good to me. Morden saved my life. I owe him everything. Professor, we're running low on Tapoxidin. Use Melanarin. Plenty on hand. Almost as good. Causes cramping in Batarians. Supplement with Butemerol. Melanarin and Butemerol. Got it. Senazine is the catalyst. Bonds to genetic markers. Hard to find. Expensive to mass produce. Why not Heplicor? Too unstable. Inconsistent results. Demazine, better option. No, no, no. Demazine, toxic to humans. Not an option. Not an option. Professor Morden Solis? Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Vorcha? Crew to clean them out? Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible use as bioweapon. No, no, no. Too many guns. Not enough data equipment. Soldiers, not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns, maybe. Looking for someone. Yes, yes, but who? Someone important. Relax, uh, Morton. I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? It's a covert and privately funded human group. Related to plague. Doesn't affect humans. Human-centric interest. Few human groups would know me. Equipment suggests military origin. Not Alliance standard. Spectres. Not human. Terra firma too unstable. Only one option. Cerberus sent you. Unexpected. You're very well informed. How did a Solarian scientist hear about Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Salarian aid? The Collectors are kidnapping entire human populations. We're gonna find out why and stop them. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. I'd like to ask someone for help and hear them say, Sure, let's go, right now. No strings attached. Life is a negotiation. We all want, we all give, to get what we want. That sounded troubling. Forja have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith, weapon from dead blue sun's marks. May come in handy against Forja. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Vorcha territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm. Risky. Blue Suns, Vorcha still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Suns came for humans, made threats, killed them before things escalated. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Salarian Special Tasks group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Salarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. What do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm, advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variance. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus. Testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. 
Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Snuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. Let's head for the environmental plant. Might be useful. On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. I didn't realize how good things were in the district before the quarantine. Never thought I'd miss the Blue Suns. I didn't think this clinic would be crawling with so many of your kind. I would have thought twice about coming here. On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. This clinic is a sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. This is probably the safest place in the district right now. We intend to keep it that way. The professor's got a few surprises cooked up in case the Vorcha decide to attack the clinic. This clinic is a sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. Here they come! Who's next? i 
Incoming tech overload. I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we'll kill your friend. Pull that trigger and you're breathing through a new hole in your head. Let him go and you walk away. Oh, God! You must think Batarians are stupid. What's to stop you from killing us if we let him go? Let him live, I let you leave. Kill him, I do the same to you. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Thank you. I thought they were gonna... gonna kill me. Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Uh, thanks again. I owe you... well... everything.
Now let's finish you off. The environmental controls should be nearby. We need to insert the cure, then reactivate the fans. Ah, you don't come here! We shut down machines! Break fans! Everyone choke and die! Then collectors make us strong! What do the collectors want? Collectors want plague! You work for doctor! Turn on machines! Put cure in air! We kill you first! Ah! We've been spotted! Anyone else want some? Ah! That all you've got! Ah! Hostile down! Excellent. The cure is in place. Now we need to reactivate the fans. Hell of a shot. Ha ha! Loud and clear. I've located the fan controls. There are two. One on either side of the room you're in now. <clears throat> Who's 
Who's next? That only you've got. Powering back up. We still need to activate the other one. Who's next? That only you've got. Fans are online. Morden should be pleased. Nice. Environmental systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. 
Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Good kid, bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the Collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. We're heading out. See you in the Normandy. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once. Retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only. No knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes, but this mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There is virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? The ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board. Non-human crew members. Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. What's this area of the ship? This is the Normandy's technical lab, where you can investigate new research upgrades that will improve ship or team performance. All upgrades can be developed in the Normandy's lab, provided you have acquired the necessary resources. You can find these resources by scanning planets or searching while on missions. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with Plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Tasks Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. 
Recon, analysis, occasional wet work, identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers, brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectre similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No, loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice retirement after SDG work complete. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Burmire. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. Hm. Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado, jargon, chest pounding. Uh, no offense. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan rebellion's bloody, dangerous, nearly as bad as rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked, population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions, needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon, nothing to worry about. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me.